Hi, welcome to the Brain Injury Answers Podcast. This is Dr. David Glazer providing the answers you need when a brain injury occurs. This podcast is for educational purposes only. For treatment, please consult your physician. This podcast does not represent the Department of Veterans Affairs. All right, let's get started. Question. My mother just had a serious traumatic brain injury. Is Xanax or any other anti-anxiety medication going to affect her negatively in any way? Answer. Excellent question. And really, this question is about how does one's previous psychiatric based medications affect a person when they've sustained a brain injury and how does it affect the psychiatric medication regimen after the brain injury so during a brain injury brain cells in essence burst open and release various neurochemicals such as serotonin and dopamine which then eventually plummet in its level and decrease and so the idea of using various psychiatric medications or other neurostimulants such as amantadine which we've discussed in a previous podcast in essence help to replenish brain chemicals that have been lost during the actual injury so your specific question asks about Xanax and other anti-anxiety medications so the first thing to consider is what type of brain injury was sustained was it a mild moderate or severe brain injury with the mild brain injury uh, the patient generally is still up and walking and and functional to the point that they're not say a patient's had a moderate or severe brain injury and is in the hospital maybe in a coma not able to answer questions things of that sort the functional level is very different there are various types of medications to treat anxiety some people are placed on benzodiazepines such as Xanax which generically is known as alprazolam other people are placed on say SSRIs selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or SNRIs serotonin nor epinephrine reuptake inhibitors. Other SSRIs include medications people may know of, such as Lexapro or Sertraline. SNRIs medications are, say, venlafaxine also known as Effexor to many people especially those that watch television and see various medication advertisements specifically regarding Xanax and other medications that fall under the category of benzodiazepines benzodiazepines will slow down the neuro recovery process benzos are essentially working like alcohol on similar receptors 
and essentially quiet the whole brain and central nervous system and very much slow down brain recovery also known as neuro recovery on the other hand SSRIs and SNRIs are not benzodiazepines and they help to replenish much needed brain chemicals such as serotonin and norepinephrine. So one, it is important to know what specific medications and why they were being used and what type of anxiety disorder the patient had prior to the brain injury. Being that the brain injury changes a person's life, the psychiatric condition might very well be different. There might be some depression involved. There might be other adjustment related disorders involved. So it's important that the patient be seeing a psychologist and or psychiatrist to help with this. In addition, there are research studies that point to the fact that using SSRIs early in the treatment of brain injury help promote recovery and help prevent depression down the road in the future after the brain injury was sustained. Also regarding SNRIs, many patients who might have, say, motivational challenges after their brain injury will be placed on, say, venlafaxine as the norepinephrine will oftentimes give people, in essence, a sort of energy to boost them, to get them going, to get out of that quote-unquote rut that may have been developed after a brain injury. So specifically to the question asked about Xanax, it is very much advised in most situations to stay away from benzodiazepines. If someone may have had an alcohol use disorder and there might be a lot of agitation and or aggressiveness after the brain injury, sometimes despite other medications that can treat agitation and aggression, using Xanax or another sort of benzodiazepine medication very sparingly can help feed those receptors in the brain that are so used to being fed. So again, every patient is unique, every brain injury is unique, and the medications have to be specifically tailored to the patient and what might be happening. And life prior to the brain injury and life after the brain injury is something that must be focused on to properly individualize the treatment of a brain injury and its symptoms after the injury has occurred. Again, one must see their physician and have this plan individually tailored to the patient. That's a wrap for today. Remember to email all your questions to braininjuryanswers at gmail.com. Check out the website www.braininjuryanswers.com. Thanks for listening.